Hello kids and welcome to the special video of Sprinkle of Joy. Today I want to talk about something that we all experience and that is the loss of a loved one. We live in this world that like I say many times is, is broken, it's not perfect and we don't live forever and so um, during the time that we're alive we're probably going to experience someone that we love pass away. Um, it's just the way that it, this life works. Sometimes they pass away because they've lived a very long life um, and they pass away because of their old age. Right? The Bible tells us in the book of Psalms um, that people are expected to live uh, until their 70s or 80s, sometimes more than that. But usually, you know, you don't see people live until they're 200 years old. So um, sometimes our loved ones that are um, of an older age, they, uh, they get sick and they pass away because of their old age. But sometimes we lose people that we love at a young age. Sometimes they're not um, our grandparents or the, our great grandparents. Sometimes they pass away um, and they're young and that happens sometimes and um, and it's so hard when it happens because um, when someone dies when they're, they've, they're um, older, we kind of already expect it, right? We know that when someone's very old, it's possible for them to pass away. But when someone passes away and they're very young, that's it's a very hard thing um, to deal with. So why does this happen? Why did my loved one pass away? I don't have the answer to that. Um, there's maybe many of you that are watching this video right now and your loved ones have probably passed away for different reasons. Sometimes it's health reasons. Some people get sick. Um, other people have accidents like car accidents. Um, there's just so many different things that could happen uh, to someone where they can uh, pass away. And so um, it's hard for me to say exactly what happened with your specific um, loved one. But I do know this. This is what I can tell you. Um, we live in this world where in the beginning when God created this world, he created a perfect world and he created us to live forever with him. But what happened? Sin happened. So Adam and Eve were in the garden. They sinned against God. And from that moment on, um, sin entered this world. And so um, in the beginning, all these things were um, judgments that were put on this um, earth where we wouldn't live forever, where we would have to do um, all these things, like we would have to work now. And it just, it, it went from being a perfect world. We were always with God and in his presence to being away from God uh, because of sin. And so Jesus came into this world um, more than 2000 years ago. He came in to save us and to allow us to be in God's presence again because we had lost that when sin came into the world. So back then when sin came into the world, that's when sickness came in. Um, that's when all the bad things started to happen. So when something like um, our loved one passing away happens, it's not because of anything that we have done. I wanna make sure that we understand that. It doesn't mean that we've done anything wrong just is proof that we live in this world that is imperfect, that is um, full of, of sin and trouble and heartache. And so we're in this world and all these things happen and they don't happen because of something we've done. They happen because um, that's just the world that we live in. And so maybe um, someone's loved one had an accident. Maybe my loved one got sick. Um, Things happen to different people and it's not, um, it's not necessarily because of any particular reason other than we live in this world that is not perfect, where we will not live forever, and a world that desperately needs Jesus. And so, what happens when we go through the loss of a loved one? We get sad. We get super sad and we cry and that's okay okay I want to make sure that we understand that it's okay to be sad it's okay to cry there's something very important that we have to do and that is prayer that's pray 
okay? So it's okay to be sad, it's okay to cry, but in those moments where you feel sad, right? It's called emotions. All of us humans, we have emotions. And so when something good happens, we get happy right? That's an emotion. You get happy. And then when something bad happens or something that um, um, is not good, you get sad. And sometimes we cry or we just feel sad. That's an emotion. And so emotions are okay. God created us with our emotions. But what we have to be very careful is that we don't let our emotions take control of our minds okay so when we feel sad what we what do we do we go in prayer and we talk to god and we tell god remember god is our friend we talk to him and we say god i'm feeling sad this is happening and so as we pray the bible um talks about that um it, it, there's a verse that says do not be anxious i believe it's in first peter do not be anxious about anything and it says that uh, uh, present everything in prayer and then you will experience the peace of God. So God tells us whenever you're going through something, you pray and then you will feel the peace of God. So it's important for us in those moments when we're sad that we immediately go into prayer. We pray to the Lord and we let him know how we feel. Why, why do I say that it's important that we do that? because our emotions can be very powerful. Now imagine if I'm going through something really tough and instead of praying, I just keep feeling sad, I keep crying, I just keep um, thinking about how I feel and my emotions and then I put God to the side and I just keep thinking about everything that's going on and how sad I am and I'm crying and oh, I'm so sad, this is not fair, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad, then everything that you're gonna think about, everything that you're gonna see is all the negative things, right? I'm sad, this is, uh, this, why did this happen? I'm so mad, right? We focus on all of the negative and if we don't pray and we don't allow the Lord to put peace in our hearts, then that's all we're gonna think about, and that's um, we're gonna that's gonna be a, a very hard place to be in because we're gonna be sad all the time, and that's not the life that God wants us to live. He knows that when we're in this world, we're gonna go through some very difficult things, but that's why He has given us His Holy Spirit so that we can, in those moments um, where we go through these difficult things, we can turn to the Holy Spirit, we can pray, and the Holy Spirit can start producing in us that peace, that love, right, that we need to go through these things. So it's okay to be sad, it's okay to cry, but we have to remember that in those moments that we're going through this difficult um, time, we have to pray. We have to pray because God is the only one that can bring peace and comfort into our hearts. And you know, when our family members pass away, not only do we get, um, not only does it impact us, it impacts our family members too. So whenever you see your family member going through a tough time because they've lost someone that they love, that's normal. It's normal for us to feel sad, but remind them the power of prayer. Go next to them, maybe hold their hand and say, you know what, let's pray together. And so that way you can help encourage them and you can help them um, with the only thing that really is going to make us feel better which is prayer and which is the Lord. Now I want to share some Bible verses with you um, that I found that are very helpful for these types of situations. The first one is in John 16 33 and it says in this world you will have trouble but take heart I have overcome the world. So um, Jesus is telling us here in this world that you live in, it's not going to be easy all the time. There's times where you're going to have trouble, but take heart, uh, right? But don't worry. I have overcome the world, right? Jesus came to this world. He died for our sins. He overcame this world and he now can offer us everlasting life. First Peter 5, 7. This is the one I was talking about. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you you all of the anxiety all the bad things or the sadness that, that you're feeling inside of your little heart cat it says cast all your anxiety on him all of that just give it to him in prayer just 
close your eyes and pray to the Lord and tell him, this is how I feel. The Bible says he cares for you. God cares about you and he cares about your feelings. Okay, Psalms 35, chapter 30, verse 5. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes in the morning. So here the psalmist says, you may be crying now, but it says joy comes in the morning. It will not always be this way. You will not feel this way forever. You might feel very sad right now, but don't worry because the more you pray, the more peace God will put in your heart and it's going to be okay. Isaiah 49:16. it says, I have written your name on the palm of my hands. That's beautiful, right? It just says that God has written our names in the palm of his hands. He remembers us. He remembers us um, in our most troubling times. Psalms 56, 8, you keep track of all my sorrows. You have collected all my tears in your bottle and you have recorded each one in your book. This is beautiful. It just says that God sees every single tear that we drop. God sees each one. It says he's collected my tears in a bottle and he has recorded each one in his book. So every single time that we talk to him, every single tear that, we, that falls through our cheek, God is looking, God knows, and God is ready to comfort us and fill us with his love and his peace. Very last one, Psalms 46, one through two. God is our refuge and our strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come and the mountains crumble into the sea. So here, um, the psalmist is saying, God is our refuge. He's our strength. What is, um, what is a refuge? It's somewhere where you run to um, when you're in trouble, right? Um, uh, there are some states where there's tornadoes that happen in some states. Here in Florida, we don't uh, often see that. But there's people that they have um, next to their house. They, ha they have this little like bunker underground where whenever there's a tornado coming, they have to run um, and it's a refuge, right? They have to go down and they have to stay there so they can be safe. Well, it's the same thing with the Lord. The Lord is our refuge. The Lord is that person that we go to whenever, um, whenever we are not feeling good or we're not feeling safe or at all times. He is our refuge and it says he's our strength right? The, the verse in Philippians 4, 13 says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me, right? So God is our source of strength. He's the one that gives us strength. He's always ready to help in times of trouble. So we will not fear when earthquakes come or mountains crumble. These are just examples of things that could happen in this world, right? We have hurricanes, we have tornadoes, there's tsunamis, there's so many different things that happen. There's car accidents that happen, um, there's all types of accidents, there's sicknesses that happens. This is all part of things that can happen in this world because of sin. And so the Bible is telling us here that um, the Lord knows that all these things um, can happen, but it says God is our refuge. Here's, he is the place where we run to when we need to stay safe. So again, this is a very uh, a difficult world that we live in because we know that there's a lot of things that we're going to go through that are not going to be the best and that are going to be very hard. But the good news is that we don't have to go through these things alone. The Lord is our refuge and our strength. The Lord is there for us at all times. And so um, kids, if you're dealing with the loss of a loved one, I just want to say I'm so sorry that you're going through that. Uh, but the good news is we have Jesus. Um, and we have him uh, where he listens to us every time that we pray. And so we also have the hope in knowing that um, death is not the end. Whenever someone passes away, it's not the end. Jesus has promised us to, that we get to live with him for eternity, that we get to live um, with him in heaven. And we also have the hope that we'll be able to see our loved one um, once again in heaven. So. Um, that is our hope, right? That is the beautiful thing of 
having faith in God and trusting God that we know that it's not the end. You know, it's very difficult for people that don't have um, Jesus in their heart. It's very difficult when they go through something like the loss of someone because um, they um, they don't have the hope that we have, that we know that we'll see our loved ones again in heaven. And so that is the beauty um, and the greatness of of trusting in God and knowing God is we know that he's promised that we're gonna one day join him in heaven um, and that our loved ones are with them and so although we're sad right because we miss our loved ones if we can just imagine where they are in this moment although we're sad they're in heaven having a blast <laughs> right you imagine how beautiful and wonderful heaven is and that is where our loved one is and they are up there and one day we will get to join them in living forever with our savior um so I just wanted to give you these few words of encouragement today. Um, just in case you're going through a difficult time, just know um, that the Lord is there for you um, and that I'm here for you too if you need to talk. Um, I'm just a message away. So let's go ahead, bow our heads and close our eyes. I wanna do a prayer for you, okay? Let's, let's do it. Dear Jesus, thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to speak to the children, Lord. I pray for any children today that is experiencing the loss of a loved one, Lord. I pray that you come for their hearts, Lord. I know that you understand how difficult it could be to lose a loved one. When you were here on earth, um, Lord, your Bible tells us about your friend Lazarus and how he passed away. And when you heard the news that he had passed away, you wept, Lord. There were tears in your eyes uh, because you got sad because your friend had passed away. And so we know that you understand what it feels like when we lose someone that we love. And so, Lord, we ask that every kid right now that is um, dealing with the loss, the loss of a loved one, that you comfort their hearts, that you put peace in their hearts, um, and that you help them understand the value in putting their trust in you and to talking to you um, whenever they feel um, sad or whenever they need to talk to you, Lord, that they might understand that there's no better friend than you. You are the bestest friend that we could ever have. Thank you for this moment when we get to share your word. Thank you for leaving your word, um, Lord, so that we can learn all these things about you and that we might be encouraged by the words that you left for us. Thank you for loving us so much. And we cannot wait to see you face to face. We cannot wait to spend the rest of eternity in heaven with you with all of our loved ones thank you for leaving that promise for us thank you for making a place for us in heaven we love you so much in jesus name amen i hope this video has been a blessing to you don't forget to subscribe and like um, our videos we'll see you very soon with a new video here at sprinkle of joy kisses we love you so much see you soon